it's the middle of August and I wanted to go ahead and do some favorites. Uh, I don't think I have any flops, but I have favorites that include some beauty items. It also includes some items that have nothing to do with beauty. Well, beauty may be in a different sense. And some empties. And you can see a favorite that just uh, appeared when he realized that I was going to be uh, filming. He, he decided that he needed to be in the picture too. I did have someone comment on my last video when he was being a little bit noisy playing with a toy that I should put him in a room. Uh, and get him out of the room with me, and that's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. If, and listen, that this is a good time for me to say this. If for any reason you start to watch one of my videos and Biscuit is in the video and you see him as a distraction, uh, go ahead and click off right then. Don't don't sit there and watch uh, if you're going to be distracted or if that's going to bother you. If my sound is bad, uh, I, if you think that I'm too loud or not loud enough or the music is too loud, um, just click off. J just click off. I, I do not want you to watch if it's unpleasant for you. I would say that uh, many times when I've had a comment or two that the sound has been bad, other people have seen that comment and they said, well, the sound on my end was just fine. When I edit my videos, I listen to them over and over and over again, just like you would. Well, I say over and over and over again. By the time you see it, I've probably watched it three times, maybe four. So I'm looking for things like that sound. So if, if you're not hearing, it could be on your end because you know whether you're watching on your phone or your computer or a tablet, uh, there are multiple ways that you can adjust sound and you may have one adjusted or up all the way but another one may be all the way down so you might if, if you're having trouble too and you're pretty sure it's not you I would suggest that you go uh, go down to the comments and just glance through the comments and see if anyone else is having issues with the sound if you're not seeing p other people say you know what's what's going on with the sound patty or the sound is bad patty, then, then it, may, it may be on your end. Uh, but regardless, regardless, if it's frustrating for you, for whatever the reason, I don't want you to watch. I don't want you to spend that little bit of time with me feeling frustrated. I say go on to another one of my videos or go on to someone else's videos, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. Um, so it's, it's August, favorites, empties, and let's just get started. And a couple of these are going to be repeats. So you will, um, will have seen them probably recently. Uh, you've probably seen me review them, but I want to sort of keep you updated on whether or not I'm liking them. The first thing, and I'm telling you, I think I showed this in the very last video, and the top is not on good, uh, the M. Osam Perfect Taunt 2, the Peptide Complex. I have been using this uh, every two or three days, and I really do like it. Uh, I will repurchase this for sure. I know I talked about this in a, uh, probably my last favorites, but I continue to love it and I want to let you know that. Uh, it's the L'Oreal Pure Sugar Scrub and that's what it looks like. 
uh, I use this every few days and I've already replaced this once. It's getting ready. Uh, I need to buy another one, but this is the chocolate. I believe it's the, oh, the, the label is not on it, but I believe it's the chocolate cocoa. It's brown. I use this in the morning. I can't use it at night because of the scent. Uh, it sort of stays with me at night, but I do use it in the mornings and I absolutely love this. I just love the way it is a gentle exfoliator. Uh, it's not gonna tear my skin. It, it leaves my skin feeling so soft. I love it. Another product, and I don't think I've mentioned this to you, and this is sort of, uh, it's okay, it's not one of my favorites, but I want to show you what I've, how I've been using it. It's the Pixi uh, Skin Treats, and they're the Glow Peel Pads with 20% glycolic acid and rose water. And this is what the container looks like. I bought mine at Target, but I have seen the Pixi products out a couple of places. I saw them somewhere. It may have been Marshalls recently. No, I don't think it was Marshalls. I don't remember. But these are just the little pads that you rub over your face and I, I don't know, I used them a few times and I just, you know, they just didn't do a whole lot for me. I actually cut them in half, as you can see. But what I do with these, uh, since I'm not using them now on my face, I want to use them up, is I've been using them on the backs of my hands. So basically I just rub them all over the backs of my hands. You let it sit for about, well, let me look, two to three minutes and then rinse it off with cool water. I don't know that I'm seeing any difference, but I'm using them up. That's the main thing I want to do since I bought them. And the way I do everything like this, anything that's a pad and a liquid, or let's say the wipes that we all, like baby wipes, the facial wipes that we all use from time to time, I store everything like that upside down so the liquid runs down to the top and the ones on the top are saturated. So I always store all of those, especially on those little uh, wipes, make sure that your top is closed properly and securely. Store them upside down, that's a tip. Another product that I, I love and I can't remember if I've shown you this, but I wanted to make sure that you knew about it. If you like facial oils, I am one of those women and I love facial oils. I don't always use them every single night or every single morning, but I go through spells of, uh, or phases of wanting to use oils. It's almost like my skin is telling me that's what it needs. And I one day we'll do a video on the ones that I usually use. Uh, but I saw Dimitri James on HSN talking about this product. And I, because it was a facial oil, I bought it. And I have, I don't use it every day. It only takes a tiny little bit. You're going to look at it and say, well, Patty, you love it, but you haven't used that much. I, I have used it quite a bit. It's just that it goes a long way. It's called the Divine Elixir, and it's luminous skin oil. It's Manuka Honey Plus C. And let's see. I, I hope you can see the bottle. I'll try to put my hand behind it. There. I'm looking in the viewfinder, so I think you can see the bottle. Beautiful bottle, but it has a dropper. 
and it has a stopper in the top so that you're not going to spill it. I really do like this. I put just two, three little drops on my fingertips and it goes all over my skin and my neck, behind my neck, my ears, under my eyes. I even put it on. I really do like this. Um, I've never seen another presentation of it, so I'm hoping it's still available. But, and, and if I remember correctly, it was a little pricey. But I really do like it. Something that I've been using for several months now, probably a year, uh, and I've reordered it, uh, and I've taken advantage of special uh, deals where it was such a good price that I ordered multiples or went on auto delivery for it. And this is the Josie Moran, Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil, the Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. Oh my goodness. If you like Argan Oil, and if you like body butters, and if you like whipped body butters, I think you will love this. This comes in some fragrances. Uh, I like the unscented, but you can see, you can see the bottom probably down here. I'm, I've, uh, I've, I'm getting way down on this one, but this is pure heaven on your skin. It just smooths out. It's not greasy, but it leaves your skin looking pretty. I have probably four or five backups of this because I do not want to run out of it. And as I said, I got it when it was a really good price on HSN. I use it all over my body. It doesn't take much. Uh, even though I have a bigger body, it still doesn't take much. But it says to rub it onto your body after bathing or anytime skin feels dry, tight, or irritated. <sighs> have y'all tried this? Any of you tried this? If you have, tell, tell about your experience in the comments. I have a couple of empties. I have the Milani eyeshadow primer and I really do like this eyeshadow primer. I will repurchase this. I haven't yet, but I will repurchase it. And then I have the Lancome Renergy Lift Multi-Action Eye Cream. And this is a part of that little travel set that I got uh, to take with me when we went on that cruise back in May. And you can see I have literally scraped every speck of that out that I can. I, I really do like this. Uh, I, haven't per I haven't used up the other creams yet because I've been using some other things, but I probably will repurchase another one of those little travel kits uh, with this in it. I have a another eye cream or two that I'm using until I'm ready to buy the little kit again. Those are the only two empties I have. Uh, now, other things that I've purchased that I am just truly enjoying uh, that, have, that have nothing to do with the face. Uh, the first thing is I came across this at one of my little trinket places, one of my little uh, vintage flea markety type stores. And I've even taken y'all there before. It's called the Shadowbox. And I was in there a few weeks ago and this just sort of jumped off of the shelf at me. Look at it. I hope you can see it. I'll try to zoom way in on it and I hope the light shining on it will do it justice. It is a little coin purse, and it's solid sequins and beads, mainly 
crystal beads. It's silver, has the little clasp, and you can tell that it's old. It has a satin lining. It does say in it, handmade in Hong Kong, but I, in fact, I asked the owner uh, when I was buying it if she thought it, if she agreed with me, if she thought it was old, and she said, I think it's very old. And the little pin held the price tag, but I, I think I paid $15 for this. And this is just great for putting in my purse or when we go out in the evening, when we cruise, I will carry this. I could, wouldn't this be cute just to carry with you when you go to dinner at night? Doesn't have to hold my cell phone. It really doesn't have to hold anything just to walk in with this. Oh yes. purchased something else recently, a bigger item, and I can't physically hold it and show it to you, but I'm going to show you a picture of it as, as I talk here. Uh, some of you, many of you I know, saw, a, uh, it may have even been in my last favorites uh, video, I showed you some of little quilts that I was making, the little jelly roll quilts. When I was working on the yellow one, my sewing machine broke and I piddled around with it forever trying to fix it myself. It was, a, my, my sewing machine is old, it's a foff and there, there is not a single person in this hole within a hundred miles of me who works on foffs. So I knew I was going to have to get a new sewing machine. I watched YouTube videos uh, trying to fix it myself and at one point I thought I had it fixed and I didn't. So I finally broke down and I bought a new sewing machine. And I bought the Brother SE600 which is a one of their newer low-end sewing slash embroidery machines. Now I have no real desire to do a lot of embroidering but Several years ago, as a matter of fact, it was probably about 15 years ago, I purchased the Singer Futura sewing slash embroidery machine, and it was very expensive uh, at the time. Uh, I think I bought it on HSN. It was their Today Special Value, and that thing, I had never used an embroidery machine before, but I unboxed that and read a few instructions and I mean before, within no time, I was, as my daughter said, you didn't want to stand still around me or you would be embroidered. I was embroidering everything and I started having issues with it and in the beginning they were sort of minor and I figured out how to fix it and how to make it right. Uh, then I started having a few more problems and I was unable to get any real support from Singer. They just didn't have, uh, they had no desire to help me. It was quite obvious. So I thought, you know what, Patty, you have just eaten this money. Uh, I, had, I had had it for about three or four months. But what I decided to do was call the HSN customer service number and not ask them to let me to send it back because I knew it was way over the 30 days that I had to send it back if I didn't like it. So I knew there was no chance that I could send it back, but I at least wanted them to know, pass on to their buyers, the experience that I had had with Singer. And so I was talking to the lady, telling her my story, and she said, may I put you on hold? And I said yes, and, and she put me on hold for just a couple of minutes, and she came back and she said, do you still have the original box, or the, the shipping box? And I said, as a matter of fact, I do. I just stuck it in a closet. And she said, if you'll pack it up, send it back. I'll send you a label, send it back. We want it back. We'll credit you your money. 
and I couldn't believe it. That's exactly what I did. I packed it up and I sent it back. And I'm telling you, I missed that little embroidery machine. I really missed it. It was one of the ones I could put my laptop next to it and plug in that cord to it and download patterns from different websites. And I, I mean, I was embroidering for everybody. Uh, I just, I had two baby great nieces at the time and I was doing all kinds of things for them. I was doing things for my friends, monogramming towels for gifts for them. Of course, I was doing everything for free, but I still, it, it was never a business. I was just having fun with it. And there have been times when I thought, gosh, I should have bought a different machine or maybe I should have uh, sent that one back and had them replace it with another one maybe that I wouldn't have any issues with and then it would just sort of be in the back of my head or I put it on the back burner and just never did anything about it so when I knew I was faced with having to buy a new sewing machine I decided to look at the little brother and I have read I can't tell you how many reviews I've read on this particular machine and how many YouTube videos I've watched and for the most part everybody number one they love it but number two they're very uh, pleased with the service they get from brother uh, so I shopped around pricing on it and actually found the best price on Amazon uh, I know when I bought this camera that I use my DSLR I bought a package deal and this camera had things that I will never ever use. Some people will and do and that's why they bought that particular package but I would never use them. I just want the camera. So, so Amazon had just a small, they had the big package with 2,000 feet, I'm exaggerating. Uh, all these things that you can get to do extras with this sewing machine. They also had a package that had the sewing machine and just the basics that you need to get you up and sewing and up and embroidering. And so that's the one I bought. It, it was just a really good price and really, really good reviews. So uh, it came in a few days ago and and I took it out of the box and the other morning I sat down and glanced over the instruction manual on it and, and did some basic sewing just to try out different things. It has, uh, just for your computerized sewing, it has the feature that threads your needle, which I have not even tried to figure out yet. It has the feature that cuts your threads, which I love. I already, that may be my favorite thing on this whole machine. Uh, it has several built-in fancy stitches for the sewing machine. Uh, and it just does a lot of other things that a lot of people would probably do that I may never. On the embroidery side, it has, uh, it has some basic patterns built into the machine itself and then you can still download patterns from the internet uh, any pattern that is in the right format it has a usb port on the side so that you can use your thumb uh, usb to download anything uh, off of the internet and then plug that right into the the sewing machine embroidery machine and it goes into the computer system so that uh, I can then embroider anything that I can download from the internet uh, in that right format. So uh, I think once I decide to play with that embroidering side, I am probably going to be doing some embroidery um, and I may show it to you. But uh, it's fun having a new sewing machine. It's so much quieter. Oh, that was a that was another thing I noticed how quiet it is. Uh, it has the pedal that you can use with your foot to make it go or it has a button that you can touch to make it go and then you touch it to make it stop. I may be in love with this little brother sewing machine. Uh, I will list that for sure. I'm going to list everything that I've shown you that I can 
um, down below and if I can find a link to it I will uh, provide a link also. The sewing machine is going to be in my uh, Amazon store so if you're interested uh, as I said I've I shopped around and that you may be able to find a better price on it but that was the best price I could find so if, if you're interested at all in a new sewing machine and or embroidery machine um, you might want to look at the brother like I say I haven't used it enough to give any kind of a review glowing review on it or review period but just what I've experienced playing around a, with it a little bit and after reading reviews I, I think I think I'm gonna really like it it's gonna be just the ticket for me and I can get that yellow quilt finished I need to get it finished <laughs> So, it's a good thing. I think that's everything. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I sure hope you will. And don't forget to hit the little notification uh, bell so that you'll be notified every single time I post a video. Also, I will list everything that I'm wearing on my face today below in the description box or the show more box. So, Make sure and check that out. If I can find a link, I will put a link there. Uh, even the top I'm wearing uh, is new. I don't remember uh, the label on it, but I know I got it at the Bell's Outlet, so I'll see if I can find that too. It is brand new. And it's pretty cute. It has studs on it. And it's animal print. And Uh-oh, did you see him? I understand that animal print is going to be big again this year. So, we love our animal print. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Just be kind today. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.